Hey there everyone, today I'm going to be doing a bit of uh, party farming in Adamar Sanctum. It's on times 1.5, so we're doing the GLP in here. I'm running with two archers right now, and um, they're both really great guys. Mike Hogg here, you might have recognised him. He's, um, I think he's the owner of Clinically Insane, which is one of the top 25 guilds. And uh, yeah, he, he himself actually, he gets called out for being a hacker so frequently because um, he's got multiple move speed jewels. It's actually by some bug. It's not um, not too tin whatsoever. Anyway, let's get talking with technique. So you can see here, um, the way to do any party farming properly is to split up uh, split up the targets. So um, yeah, we're not we're not doing the best job right now, but um, yeah, hopefully we'll sit in the next run when I'm actually concentrating. Um, so as the wizard here, I actually go through the map a bit faster then. And basically, no offense to these guys, they're great at farming, but I'm going to be pointing out why I think wizards are better at farming than uh, archers. So I didn't push far ahead that much in that run, but uh, we'll see as we go into more runs here. Basically, I can push much faster through the map than they can, and um, while that's fine, like, ooh, um, okay. No, we've been talking about flame armor because um. He thought it was causing him some trouble, but actually, um, he thinks it's just his, just his computer. But yeah, um, he's, I think he's getting a little bit of lag. Anyway, oh, come on. Yeah, he's talking about flame armor right now. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to be trying to do is luring out the enemies, lining them up, and basically making, letting them run through bits, which they otherwise would have to, uh, focus on doing. So, they're using the, um, 360 thing. So yeah. Run up here, I use a fire blast on that enemy there, which um, for some reason someone likes to use a fire storm on it anyway. But um, yeah, so I can run through and do these far away things. And because I've got the zoomed out screen, I can actually see how far away they are. So I know when they're going to be, um, if they are going to be getting the gold or not. So a frost trade down there is really good. Um, kind of gets screwed up because that guy runs in. But um, then I take the barrels on the outside. Here I can run ahead and get that. Here I can teleport ahead, get all the enemies to spawn, run back, and basically kill them all with my air effect skills so they can just run through. And as you can see, I like to take down the two sides, but yeah, that guy took them down then. Anyway, yeah, not really a lot a lot more I can say right now. I'm pretty tired, but um, it's gone into the festival, the spring festival, and it looks pretty cool. Um, when you summon dragons, you get rewards. And yeah, if you're wondering why my voice is a bit funny, I'm actually wearing um, wearing a brace in there right now, so it sounds a bit different. But yeah, probably just show one last run. I wasn't going to do commentary on this, but I decided it would be a little bit bland if I don't, so let's show it. Ooh, that was a nice 360 there. Okay. And up the fire blast, put the up here, burst of light in here. Ah, oh, you know, just before I started recording, I did a brilliant burst, burst of light in that. Alright, I can take down pretty much every group of enemies with a burst of light. And uh, you might be wondering if I can do this faster in solo. I'm not sure. I think we run it at about the same kind of speed as I do it in solo. Which is a little bit of a shame, but it is nice to, to run in a party. But yeah, you can see in that kind of instance, I'm just waiting for them. And here, if you're a solo farmer, you can just group them all together up at the top. But yeah, they can do stuff like that. You saw the 360, they took out almost all the enemies on the right here, but they wouldn't have taken out the top left as well, I don't think, um, just because of the range on it. Takes a lot, uh, a lot of skill to aim those 360s, to actually get them hitting all the all the enemies. I'm sure when you're party farming, it must be, must be crazy trying to do them. So I am probably messing them up there. But as you can see, my skills give a really nice... Um, air effect kills on it. Like this is like a guaranteed take down all the enemies. And burst of light in here. Oh, did it really have to lag like that? But yeah, that would have got, taken down all the enemies. There, got all the enemies. Da -da -da. If I had a cooldown potion on, I'd just be able to chain um, burst of lights together. You can see I'm pushing through so much faster right now. 
Oh, is he already gonna, oh, he's gonna delay. Sorry mate, nothing, nothing against you. I don't mean anything against you. But yeah, basically, if this was three wizards with a cooldown potion, it would be super, super fast. And actually, I've got a recording of three wizards doing, um, uh, what's it called? Inner Circle. And, uh, yeah, we were doing it in one minute, uh, well, just over one minute each time, um, taking down most of the enemies. We didn't do the boss, but everything else. So I will be putting it out soon. It's without commentary. Um, so basically, I wanted to do Inner Circle with solo farming. And put that up, and then I would put that at the end of the video, so I sort of talk a little bit about it before we get to that, and uh, yeah, do it that way. I feel a bit bad just kind of putting it up without any commentary, um, so I don't want to do that unless I have to, unless I really cannot be bothered to make an inner circle solo farming video, because I don't think that's sufficient as a wizard. Um, as a knight and uh, archer, I think on the bridges you can you can take down the other enemies by um, using that like, curl or uh, or the 360 spread shot. But um, as a wizard, you don't have anything like that, so you really do go slowly through that. Okay, and what's lovely here is the wizard is going forwards and getting all these enemies out. Oh, I didn't actually, <laughs> I didn't actually get them out. Oh well, there we go, got them there. Anyway, that will be the end of the video because I, no, not much point doing any more. But if you are wondering how, um, how best to farm Adamar Sanctum in a party and stuff, that's the kind of thing you're looking for. And as you can see, I'm kind of supporting the two archers, um, using my role there. So uh, yeah, look, look to do that kind of thing when you're, when you're in a party. And I think these guys are talking to me, so I should probably talk back. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one.